Now to that standoff in Oregon, authorities and uh, residents there are telling the armed militiamen who seize federal land to leave, but they are not backing down. And ABC's Neil Karlinski spent time inside that wildlife refuge. Good morning, Neil. Robin, good morning. The group has now spent three frozen nights inside the compound, which is just on a dirt road back there. It's not exactly a glamorous place to hold a siege, and so far, despite calls for others to join their cause, their numbers have not been growing. This morning, for the first time, authorities are publicly telling an armed group of ranchers here in rural Oregon to pack up and get out. It's time for you to leave our community, go home to your families, and end this peacefully. The group, which now calls itself Citizens for Constitutional Freedom, is holed up inside this federal wildlife sanctuary, land they seized while no one was here. This van's been coming and going a lot. Seems like some of their supplies. We were allowed inside to see where they sleep and prepare meals. And we found this man who posted this emotional goodbye to his family before joining up. My daughters, Maddie and Lily. I love you so much. Your daddy swore an oath. He swore an oath to protect and defend the Constitution. Inside, his views were the most sobering of anyone we met. But do you fear that this could turn into something serious enough that you would not be able to return to your family? There's always that chance. I'll tell you right now, though, nobody here will fire that first shot. We will protect ourselves, but that's not what we want. The group says they're fighting for nothing short of the liberation of thousands of miles of federal land, which they believe should be returned to America's ranchers. Their initial cause, outrage over the conviction of fellow ranchers who turned themselves into federal prison Monday for setting fires on public land, was just the beginning of a string of grievances. There are no police anywhere near here, and so far sources have indicated that because the area is so incredibly remote, authorities are in no hurry to do anything but watch and wait, George. They could be hunkered down for a long time. Okay, Neil, thanks very much.